Welcome everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone is safe. I wanted to do a quick video showing you how to download the new version of Daedalus. If you're familiar with the latest news, Cardano has recently undergone a Byron reboot. So we are getting ready for the Haskell version of Cardano. Right now on the ITN, we're using Jormungandr, which is run in Rust. Now we're going to be using Haskell when we hit the mainnet. So for all those who missed the snapshot during the incentivized testnet, your chance to start staking is going to be very soon. So pretty much when this mainnet releases, everyone will be able to stake. Part of that is being able to have your funds in a staking capable wallet. Daedalus is one of the main Cardano wallets. It's where I hold all my funds. And I'm going to show you exactly how to get to the latest version. So this is going to allow you to stake in the future and join the new Cardano ecosystem. So right now you see in the upper left hand corner, I have Daedalus 0.15.1. So this is not the testnet ADA. This is your regular mainnet ADA and my ADA has been in Daedalus since 2017. So now we can go ahead and install. So we're going to go ahead and click the download Daedalus at DaedalusWallet.io. You can also check the links on the official IOHK portal. So right now we're on the DaedalusWallet.io website and you will be able to download the latest version. So if you've been familiar with the recent news on Twitter, there's been something called Daedalus Flight. And this was for this was an early release candidate. It was for those with a higher technical background that wanted to be beta testers for the new wallet. In layman's terms, it's not the wallet that the end investor needs to install. But this one is going to be the one that you need to migrate. So you're going to go ahead and scroll down I am going to be downloading this for Windows. I'm going to hit click Windows. And once again, it's available for Mac and Linux as well. Let's see, show more details. This is the Daedalus version. And my understanding is that the wallet should be able to migrate right over to the new Daedalus version. Let's install. You can go back to your desktop and it's going to be on your desktop Daedalus mainnet. You can go ahead and click that. So you're going to get a feature that says import wallets. So Daedalus flight is about to import wallets from the production version of Daedalus. The production version of Daedalus must not be running during the import process. If you have not already done so, please close the production Daedalus application now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to close this. Daedalus is closed, import wallets. And it should be able to take the wallet files straight from your computer and import them into the new wallet. You can set your time format, your number format, and hit continue. Scroll down, I agree with the terms of service, press continue. So, it tells you which wallets were password protected and which ones have no password. So I'm gonna go ahead and import all of the selected wallets. We're going to close the window and let's see how long it takes. It says the balance and transaction history of this wallet is certain percentage synced with the blockchain. I'm gonna go ahead and time it and let you know exactly how long it takes.
And that's it. All the wallets have been restored. Let me know in the comments section how the install process went for you. I appreciate you. Stay safe and have a wonderful day.